Hi, it's Tomasz from Hexi Studio. In this video I will show you how to model this Canon and how to prepare a file for 3D printing. This time we will make a simple Canon. We will start with a basic shape of uh, n -side. We have to change the orientation from uh, XY to XZ, like this and I will change the radius to 100. I like end gun because later on we can change the shape like from a triangle through square uh, up to a circle just by changing the number of sides. So we will just stay with uh, 30 sides and now we have to extrude our circle. By holding Alt, click on extrude. So now our end side goes under the extrude but we have to change from Z to Y movement, mm, let's say Put it 20. Okay, I want to press N and then B to see all the lines. We will now copy the extrude by holding Ctrl, just move it down like this. And by selecting this new extrude, hold Alt and click on Cloner. Yeah, now we can see multiple copies, but that's not what we want to get. Uh, we have to change the mode to radial exactly, and now change the radius of our new inside uh, to something like 25 maybe yes and we have to extrude more say uh, 500 it's gonna be long cannon perfect and we want to have six of them so we go basically to our cloner and then on object count six maybe they are a little bit too close to each other we want to have some gaps between them so just change the radius uh, not the radius but the inside from 25 to maybe 22. Perfect. Okay, I want to make this part thicker. We can do that by just copy the whole setup of cloner. Uh, again, by holding control, just move it down. Decrease the movement from 500 to something like 50. Yes. And increase the radius back to 25. Or maybe we can do like 26 or 27. Yes, yeah, so they overlap. Later on, we will merge everything together. Mm, yeah, I will just make this one, the first part, uh, mm, where is it? Thicker, something like 40. And move this part a little bit up. Yeah, like this. Exactly, that's what I want to get. I will put together th these two parts, the base and this, this bottom part together to one null because we want to make a copy and mirror it so we have this uh, element right here so we just create a new null and put these two elements underneath yeah like this now by oh, now we have to look for uh, symmetry yeah hold alt our null is uh, here but we have to change the orientation uh, zx yeah exactly it's in the wrong position so how we can move it up right now if we move uh, null it goes like this but we can change the pivot of the symmetry basically just click here or press l and now we can move up yeah like this basically what we do we change the position of the mirror exactly in the middle now i would like to copy this bottom part and put it here and we can do this instead of making another copy of this object of this extrude we will just make an instance of it. We don't have to later on change the shape of all the components separately, but it will be all driven by one copy. So we just go here and put in, uh, click instance. Yep, there it is. And now we can move it here. And I want to decrease it in the Y value by half. So we just change the scale in Y, put it 0.5, perfect. And the last thing we'll do in this part, we'll just make some holes in our canons. I don't know how, how this part is called. So basically, just copy the whole setup. Uh, holding control. We'll just move here. Now we have to decrease the radius of this end gun divided by half. Yeah. And now, instead of moving up, 500, let's do minus 100. 
we can decide how deep it goes inside. Uh, if you want to see better, then we can change the display mode from shading to lines. NG. Yep. There it is. Oh, that's enough. And I can go back by pressing N, then B. I like this mode most. Now we have to subtract one shape from the other. So we'll go for a bully. We select this one, put it as our first object because it works like A subtract B. And then we find this object and put it here. Make sure not to put it inside the cloner, but underneath. Ta-da! Works perfectly. That's the first part of our object. And we will stop here. Or maybe we'll just make one final adjustment. We want to move all these pipes closer to the edge. We can do it by selecting two cloners. Actually, three cloners. By pressing Ctrl, you can select multiple objects. One, two, and three. And then change the radius ah, like this. I will also change the radius of this part a little bit. Yeah, there it is good. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next part.